all of you lovers, it's your girl Clementine from Big Empress Energy, sending you beautiful, bountiful blessings. Stay open to receiving them. Mm, mm, mm. Mis amores, it's your girl Clementine. I record charge energy people to felt. Okay, and we are about to get into our spirit seat to see what we need to know right now whenever you're watching this timeless reading, okay? So let's see what the medicine is from a spirit, what we need to know, okay? But I am recording this on Tuesday, January 9th, and the moon is going to be void today for the afternoon part of the day. So it's going to be more of a day to meditate, to clear out any clutter, okay? And not to try to push or do too much, okay, as much as you can. Save it more for the morning or more for the evening time. I'm seeing a lot of like this purple energy and this purple energy is speaking to me about healing, okay. Now, mm, you know, it's de definitely also associated with your third eye, but like healing yourself. And I feel like not only on a cellular level here, but... This could be healing your relationship to your finances, healing your relationship to your body, healing your relationship to food. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. This could be giving meal prep, meal plan. This could be giving, um, going over your budget, going over your finances. Okay, um, some people could be wanting to also maybe expand on their business, start a new business. We have the Three of Swords reverse. People are gonna be a little bit in their feelings as we are approaching that new moon in Capricorn. As well, this evening, the moon will be moving into Capricorn, and we have that new moon on Thursday, okay? And we have um, the five of wands, okay? Some, some arguments coming in, some confrontations, and the medicine, okay, the best remedy for anyone who want to knuck and buck with you is to say, skr, skr, I don't have the time right now to be dealing with this energy. There's um more priorities that I have, okay? Queen of Pentacles, there's more things that I have to take care of, all right, than to get caught up in these little mind games. Some of you guys, this could be someone coming in with some argumentative conversation or deception in conversation, okay? Now, very specific message. Some of you guys are dealing with a third party situation. This could be a jealous partner or they're jealous because there's some reason to be. Maybe your partner's jealous of your friends or you're jealous of your partner's friends and this could even be dating multiple people type of energy too because we have the three of cups with the three of swords together we also have the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles okay so this is a divine duo here king of pentacles really inviting us to like be like you don't really have nothing to hide okay you don't really have nothing to hide there's more than one way to live your life there's more than one way to live your life there's no right or wrong way so it's giving no apologies, okay? No apologies. I said what I said, okay? Queen of Cups, reverse coming through. Lots of queen energy. And when we see that, this is really about tapping into our reception, okay? Being, being open to receive, you know, guidance, being open to receive new ideas, being open to receive... Um, some of you guys here, this could be new money or new habits, new schedules, new routines, okay? Ace of Pentacles coming up. Ace of Pentacles, lots of Pentacles, Earth energy, grounding energy, and then we have the Five of Cups and the Star card in the bottom of the deck. So now we have three, three, and five, five. So those could be numbers that we're seeing a lot, okay? And three is really about community and creativity and communication having fun, having a good time. That could be difficult right now because people are focused on what is a new fresh start? What is a new fresh energy that I want to bring into this moment, into this week, into this day? Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles coming in as a challenge could also be health challenges, okay? Being healthy, staying healthy, um, feeling healthy, all of that with the Ace of Pentacles. You know, this could be giving us like herbal teas, home remedies, fresh juices, okay? Eating things that are like going to be making you feel very nutritious, detoxing through food. But we have this 5-5 five, five energy coming up. So I feel like this is bringing us lots of abrupt changes that could be making us feel a little sad about maybe things that we lost but spirits like don't worry baby you're all good we got the king of pentacles here everything is still unfolding according to plan but sometimes you need to be redirected okay and that can be a form of divine protection redirection but at the same time, there is some part of you that is fighting this, okay? That is feeling maybe this regret or this remorse for time lost, energy lost, 
parts of your health lost, health of the mind, body, spirit. And, you know, this is actually an opportunity for you to come back bigger, badder, healthier, wholer than ever, okay? Not relying on, you know, other people's perception of you with this Three of Cups. There could have been an energy too where you feel like unsafe sharing around people, around friends, around groups. You know, this could be about gossip and trying to move away from people who gossip or people who chit chat. And, you know, I'm seeing this energy of like, you know when something is for you, right? You know like when something is for you, you know when someone is for you. And if you're getting the suspicion that there could be someone in your circle that could be maybe a little bit of a snake or someone in your per per perimeters around you, okay, you could be going back and forth. Like, you know, I, I really feel like I know this person is a little bit shady, a little bit suspicious. You don't want to put all your energy or attention into it. You know, it's like loving someone from a distance. Okay, especially with this five of cups here, this is the energy of disappointment. This could be disappointment in not only our health, but like um, communication styles, disappointment in groups, in people, and feeling a little bit of this sense of like heartbreak with the two and the three here. And protecting your heart, guarding your heart. Not everyone is worth your energy um, with this, okay? Um, another thing I want to say is that new financial opportunities could be coming up. And that is very possible with the new moon in Capricorn, Mercury moving into Capricorn, Mars in Capricorn, lots of Capricorn energy, pentacles energy, right? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is earth energy, is pentacles energy. And so, um, that could be really beneficial setting those intentions on the new moon in Capricorn or whenever you see this too. See, how can I make my life more abundant in all ways, not just financially, but physically with my health, with my food, okay? Another thing with this, you guys, we do have the money miracles activation for that new moon in Capricorn. So if you are catching this on or around January 11th, you can secure your spot as well for our first new moon Reiki of 2024, focusing on abundance. And abundance is in the cards, honey. Abundance is in the cards. Not only do we have the Ace of Pentacles, we have the fish card. And the fish card does represent money or a job is the key to health, okay? Um, abundance is the key to health. Health energy being very important with this tree. Some of you guys, this is also your legacy as well, or family are feeling supported in your community, okay, for your health goals, or as well for your financial goals, learning from people, maybe getting in like a money group, a money circle, a money uh, a group where you guys are teaching each other stuff about how to create more um, income generational wealth. We also have ring, birds, and sun. So someone could be making a commitment and a conversation to do something that's going to be bringing them ultimately a lot of joy. But first, you have to you have to say goodbye to certain small things, right? It's really small things that make up the big picture. And so with coffin and child, there's little things that you need to give up, little things that you need to transform. And you could be also changing the way if you have a child or you have kids in your house, changing the way that you... Um, um, interact with these kids, okay, Br doing things that bring them more joy as well. Um, there could also be an en energy episode or focus around a child in a home, okay? Um, some of you guys are need to invest financially into your health as well in different ways. You guys, mental, spiritual, physical, do not get tied down. There's so many ways that we can focus on your health, the mind, body, spirit connection is a real thing, yeah, gal. Yeah, okay. Um, so if you're interested to in that Reiki, it is going to be uh on big empress energy llc.com. Link in the bio. I love it. I'm sorry, you guys. We got abundance, okay? Karmic blessing and the new moon in Capricorn is a karmic time. Midas touch, money, and a B on there, baby. You cannot make this ish up. We got magic involved. We're gonna be working our magic for that new moon. Um, tell me more candle drink up love some of you guys could be feeling like somebody was trying to block your blessings as well with magic perhaps we have perspective emotional forgive walk away abandon so switching your perspective about something it could have left you feeling sad it could have left you feeling a little bit depressed agitated and stuff but it's an opportunity for you to heal and to walk away from things but as well forgive yourself forgive others and when you're crying or if you feel emotional, this could be because you, you know, you're know you releasing guilt and shame around your actions or perhaps around how somebody treated you. 
because we also have divine union. So I feel like we're getting closer to people, energies and situations that are going to be benefiting you on all levels. Okay, divine union in friends, in business, in romance. Last card. Fresh air. Okay, some of us just need a fresh air. Um, thank you in all ways for helping me breathe easier in all ways. And that's funny because I am getting off of a cold. So I have a little bit of like raspiness and congestion. So I love that. Um, we need to breathe easier, focus on our breathing, maybe go out, get some fresh air, um, you know, eucalyptus, you know, like just opening up this passageway for our breath. And when we feel tight and tense, breathing okay my love so if you're interested in our reiki secure spot on my website link is in the bio you can also book a reading big empress energy lc.com check out the week ahead horoscope that we did earlier this week too bye